Welcome back to my channel and in today's video I'm going to show you around my wardrobes. Now these wardrobes were here when we moved in about five years ago. They were really really dark mahogany, they were horrible. So I've customised them with this marble sticky back plastic and we painted everything white including the inside and changed the door handles. Um, the wardrobes are inside my bedroom, they don't have their own dedicated room because we live in a two bedroom terrace so our house just isn't big enough. So like most people I do the swap a with my wardrobe, I have a spring and summer wardrobe and then I also have an autumn winter wardrobe and I swap different pieces over. So you're currently going to be looking at my spring and summer wardrobe. Inside the first half of the wardrobe, I have two long rails. It's really basic in here, but this is where the main bulk of my clothes sits. So on the top rail, I have tops and t-shirts. They go in order of color from light to dark and then in order of sleeve length from long to short and sleeveless. On this side, I have all of my blazers, which then run into suede and leather jackets and a couple of denim jackets on the end. Then if we move down to the bottom rail, this is where I have all of my trousers and my jeans. And then on the end here, I have denim shorts and skirts and non-denim shorts. Again, these are all ordered in terms of color and the denim is in color wash. So from light to dark wash with black on the end. The jeans and the trousers are mixed in together because I don't actually have that many trousers so I figure it's easier just to have all of the bottoms mixed in together. And as you can see I utilise the back space on the inside of the doors and I've used little screw in hooks up here and this is where I store my belts so that they're hung neatly and I can see exactly what I've got when I come to dress the outfit at the end. Over on this door, again, I've used some of the screw in hooks and here I have my high street bags and casual bags and then down here I just have a couple of my summer hats. Over here in the second set of doors, we have another rail which is um, just a single rail and this is for my longer items so this is for coats and cardigans and of course dresses um, this rail tends to be the rail that changes the most frequently from season to season so this often tends to be full of a lot more knitwear and lots and lots of coats in the winter time and then the dresses go into storage but obviously because it's spring summer it's mainly got dresses here and then I've just kept a couple of coats out for when it gets a bit cooler outside. And if you're wondering about what kind of hangers I use, these are what I have throughout the whole wardrobe. Over the years I've gone through a few different types of hangers but I have finally settled on these. They are super slim, so if you're short for space like I am, then these are the best option. They're also flocked, which means that they're kind of like velvety, so that makes them non-slippery if you have any silky or slinky items that you need to store in your wardrobe. I actually bought these off eBay. They were so cheap. I bought 200 of them for under £40, so if I can find a link to these or similar, then I will link those below in the description box for you. As you can see, this is where I keep my handbags. So I like to have them on display outside of the dust bags. Each of the dust bags is inside the bag so that if I travel, I can pack them away and they won't get damaged. So I have them along here. I also have them at the back. And then in these little cube sections here, I have them stacked with about three per shelf. Here I utilise the space on the back of the doors. So on this door I have a few designer crossbody bags and I ran out of hooks so I've actually just hung them on some nails so I need to swap those over. On this side I mounted a mirror because there is great light coming from the windows over here so it's the perfect place to go and apply my makeup in the morning. 
Along the mirror I have some just cheap, fun sunglasses which are not designer. Below I love my jewellery and I like to have it in amongst my clothes so that I can put an outfit together all in one space. So I just have some picture hooks with my jewellery hanging on there. And then just below I have two wire baskets which I bought from H&M and I just sprayed them gold. And inside there I have my sunglasses. So these tend to be my designer sunglasses. In the first one it is completely full of Ray-Bans because they are my favourite sunglasses brand. And then below I have two Prada sunglasses and one pair of Celine's. Here in the bottom section of this wardrobe, it might look a bit of a mess, but I promise it is organised madness. I just have some summer bags here and here. And then here I have my travel cosmetic bags, which are just easy to hand. Shoved away in the back there is my gym bag, which is the least frequently used item. And then here I have plenty of hair removal and linked brushes because having five dogs is a nightmare with your clothes. Right, now when it comes to my shoes, I have them displayed over here on these floating shelves. These floating shelves are from Ikea. They are the lac shelves and I have the width, uh, I think it was 120. And I have one, two, three, four, five. I've got six at the moment. I think I could fit one more at the bottom, but I'm fine with this amount of space for now. Again, these are my spring summer shoes. They do get swapped over, so all of my Stuart Weitzman over the knee boots and all of my other winter boots will come out around September, October time. So I have them all separated into categories. Along the top, I have court shoes. And then that runs into dressy sandals, followed by casual summer sandals, which then runs into flats. And this is all organised in order of colour. So again, from light to dark, that's just how I like to have things running. And then we go down into a small selection of ankle boots at the bottom. Then I have an overflow for my shoes, which is this cabinet, which I keep out on the landing. And this just stores in the top drawer a few sundries, so cleaning products and heel tips and all of the dust bags for my designer shoes. And then down in these two drawers, we have all of my trainers and my slim summer sandals. As with the bags, if you would like to see a video on my full shoe collection, then let me know in the comments below and we can look into filming that for you. Thank you very much for watching today's video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and I will see you next time. Bye.